Yes, people, so this is reality to the world coming to you. You know, well, today content is that I'm going to show you once. You don't have to have a big piece of farm or a big piece of land to eat from your farm or eat from the land. I'm going to take you about in this small kitchen garden that where my brethren have and you're going to see the food that coming out from his garden. It's not nothing big, but guess what? He feels satisfied and he feels blessed with whatsoever he is doing. So let me show you. First, I'm going to show you his nurseries with his um, tomato. So you can see, this is all he do. He makes sure he get like some old barrels and he set his nurseries. And this is where the seed produce cause once your hands is fertile trust me mother earth will bring forth your food you don't have to worry you see so these is the nurseries where he do set and get his um his small small plants from you know so look along here so what you are looking at this is Baigan. This is a Baigan plant. Some of you might know Baigan is Balanje. If you look good, there's some small one right there. It's already start blossoming. So this is a Baigan plant. And this is just one. As I'm gonna show you is one stem. Look. You see that's the root. And you're gonna see how much a Baigan plant how much Belandre a bygone plant is going to give to you. So this is the next plant here. People I can tell you, no fertilizer, organic. Everything that you are watching at is organic. Look at this. You see? This is organic, natural. You can see there are some leaves. It's about to bear. And if you look, this is the next plant. You can see there's a Belange there too. You don't have to have a big piece of land, people, to do this. You know, this you call it a kitchen garden that could help you out if you don't have like enough money to. You might have rice, but you don't have like money to buy a straw. This is a kitchen garden where you can do, you know, you come in your kitchen garden and just pick greens that we call papa. <laughs> and this tree is very short, you know, or it's very small because, and look how many papa you're seeing. So you could even make papa stew. You know, whosoever know about papa stew, papa stew is good stew. Ain't it, brother? Papa stew is a good stew. You see? And then in the farm, you have your fine leaf times. This is the fine leaf time. That all this is spices that are gonna nice up and, and spice up your, your, your stew. So you have every little thing. You see there, on this side, we have, this is thick leaf callaloo. Thick leaf callaloo and this is the red stem. The red stem, they have the green stem, they have the red stem. And this is the thick leaf callaloo. You see and this all you got to do is just like pull off the leaf you know pull off the leaf and then just leave it just like that and I'm gonna show you sometimes what you can do are uh, like this I'm gonna pick this and I'm gonna eat this just like this look so I just pick this and I'm gonna eat it you see all these is nice real nice and this is the red stem yeah we have some, um, if you look there, I think there's some marawiri pepper. So people don't frighten for torn up the soil in your yard. Just make sure that you have the soil and torn it up and do things like this. It's going to be real grateful and helpful to you. See the thick leaf run all here? See we have the tomato. Look. I'll hear the thick leaf and this thick leaf running like crazy. <laughs> this thick leaf running like crazy. So this is what 
the little kitchen garden look like you see yeah this is the little kitchen garden people You see? One tomato plant in a barrel. So you, as he say that you can plant one tomato plant in a barrel. And that will feed you sufficiently for the whole month, two months, three you see months. That? And keep feeding you every day. Yeah. You can pick two, you can cook a stew. Two and you cook a stew. So we have a small cherry. This is cherry. And this is breadfruit. You know it's small. This yeah, say you got like Bear with three already. It's already bare. So people you can see in that, you know, it's not it's, it's no play man. Just within your yard you can get these things from your yard. You know, this is a, a, a lime right here. Yeah, but these lime you gotta be careful because these plain plus as a child growing up, you know, picking lime, you know, we go through a, we take a lot of boar, a lot of plain plus boar, you know. Yeah, see, seeing what's going on. All this is mangoes. Yeah, the homing board makes in between the mango too. Where is it? They're right in front of you. Oh. They're right here, the homing board inside. Oh. You get a little shell here, just assist it. Oh. It's on the board here, lay egg here, it's a little egg here and the rain beat it down uh -huh. and all the young ones die out but this time i put a shelter for it i said i'm gonna study my head uh -huh. put a little shelter you help you oh, a little bit with a little so shelter so the two young ones now gonna survive oh so you protect them yes, as, a, as, as a man hard. of nature yes, you protect yes. them because you love nature you don't yeah, want man. you know to see you don't want to see the humming boy disappear because the humming boy is very in the blast the humming is here you know, here the good part of the blossom and there's another plant, you know, give yeah. another plant strength to Yeah, people look, take a good look. So this is the hummingbird, as you were saying. You see there's a small one in there. See? Two of them. Two of them. And what he did, he made sure that he trying to protect it. Because the, the sun and the rain, we having a lot of rain people. And you know what he did, he just get like, as like a car. The bottom of a car and he tried to protect the hummingbird and this is a plastic buckle and this is love man this is nice you know for see that we still have human beings that protect you know birds and have the love for mother nature and this is good yeah they say we have like a five finger and that's a cashew right Mango or lime. This is a cashew. Game it's not no about. Yeah, I know I know this cashew. Yeah, they're ready yeah. for eat? This ain't ready for eat. This yeah. Okay. okay. So, okay, so, okay so tell me something about this, this cashew. This cashew what is kind? That you made um you know cashew nuts so Yeah. Made, um, but this is where you get the cashew nuts from. Oh. Oh so this how one, would this, you know? This is the cashew nut here. Oh, that's so you roast this here, just put them in the tin, just sell them outside, inside all over, just from this it come from. And oh. from the, um, they say, um, rainforest, tropical rainforest between Guyana and Brazil, yeah. this is where they say come from. Ah, uh, there's so much that... So it's a very good fruit. Cashew nut, one of the best nut. Cashew nut, one of the best nut, one of the richest nut, the cashew nut. And all these is flowers all that these flowers coming out. Yeah, as you can see there's a small one right there. And you can see one there right here too. There's a small one. You know so Yeah, there's a green one. Outside like it's like a farm in life. No, no, no. So I see we have some um this is some edo leaf. Yeah, now edo leaf, so all these things are so good that you can all uh, you must always have within your you yard. Starve. You can't starve. 
like if you want to cook up, cook up you can, you can a few other leaves. Leaf. You see, we have elder leaf here. Man, you the yes. man that take care of this farm. What keep you and give you the energy and the strength to continue farming? Well, I will tell you humbleness, bring it all the rest. Humbleness bring it all the rest. Humbleness bring it all So you the feed rest. yourself? Yeah, I feed myself right here. I don't have to spend a cent really and truly. I eat right here. And the money I work for I can buy other things with it. You know what wow. I mean? Yeah. So people you can see, you know, it's no joke. Farming, you would never ever lose from farming. You see my brother just now telling you, he don't really spend a lot of money and he already shown you, you already see his yard, you know, his food because at the end of the day you have to eat. You have to eat. So he's showing you what and what. You know, he have in his yard. How what keep him and give him the strength and the energy to do this work? Farming. This is the line right here. So we we have in the backyard. Take me in the backyard at the back. This is goes a berry. Okay. We have here? Pumpkin. Oh, so you have pumpkin there. Yeah. Wow, people look, this is the pumpkin. You see? You have pumpkin here, you have some more other leaf. Papa, charge. You have here. papa. Yes, and then you have cane. Also, take a look at the cane. So, how would you know when these head already? Okay. Okay. So we have a ginger. Ginger. First time seeing a ginger plant, people. This oh yeah. Wow. This is my first time seeing a ginger plant. In my first, first time. Wow. So this is celery. See, you have a celery crop. There. So what betala is good for? Coal. Many things. Yeah, look at these betalas, big people. Look at one of these whole hands, big. See in there? This is lemongrass. You know, you make your tea, you have fever. This is my this is pork. This is my man pork we have. Yeah. All these are spices that you can put okay. into your cook, mm -hmm. you cut up a shallot and stuff, you know. You have some bowl there. And you can see, you know, let me take you here. Yeah, brother. I got to do, I got to take out one, you know, though. This is the borer. This is borer. You can see? Yeah, there's real long borer you have in here, too. Yeah, pomegranate. Yeah. Yeah, man. You can see, so we have some pepper here too, you know. This is pepper. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. yeah, 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 good, man, that's good. Yeah, that's good, that's good. What you want to do, you know, you could try this here, so take all the leaves, you see, 
Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, buddy. A lot of pepper you could see on this plant, look. I'm seeing a lot of peppers. Squash. We have some squash here. This is how we set up the squash. This is the runners, the user, the vine. So when the squash start to run, you know you're gonna get squash. This is the harbor 